My poster was looking at uh, tumour markers uh, in the diagnostic setting, uh, specifically looking at patients uh, who present with a, a cancer of unknown uh, primary uh, and whether the tumour marker is, is beneficial or not in the diagnostic setting. Uh, we showed that within our local health board, uh, many tumour markers were requested, um, not always following the guidelines that are out there through NICE. Um, uh, and it's very costly uh, to the health board. So um, the idea was to uh, investigate that uh, and uh, what we've done now is uh, we're looking at stopping multiple tumour marker requesting. So multiple being more than one, sorry, more than two tumour markers within a two week period for any individual patient uh, when they're searching for a cancer diagnosis. Now when you say many requests, how many are we talking about? So uh, in a six month period, there were over 17,000 tumour marker requests, specifically multiple requests. Uh, as I stipulated, there was just short of 2,000 in a six month period. Uh, of those, um, there were only just short of 300 uh, patients actually diagnosed with cancer um, and only 35 where the tumour marker was actually used appropriately uh, in the diagnostic setting. Um, so a, a lot of requests, um, but perhaps we don't need to, to do that many really. As you mentioned that a lot of these might not be uh, necessary or appropriate by NICE guidelines. Yep. How well do you think the guidelines are being communicated or available considering this? Well, I think NICE, nice, you know, guidelines are very accessible, uh, but I think there's definitely room for more education in this particular area, uh, which we've done locally uh, through the Acute Oncology Service, which is a new service established within the Health Board in the last couple of years. Um, so we have done some education and the plan is to try and follow that up now um, by repeating the work that we've done. Um, uh, just to see if, if there's any further education that's needed, but I suspect, I suspect there's going to be more education needed. You mentioned that they were costly. Has any number been put to the exact economic cost of all these unnecessary screens? Yeah, so we extrapolated it to 12 months um, and it's just over £95,000 costs uh, for the amount that have been done. Um, so obviously if we are able to stop them, uh, that's a significant saving. The challenge with it, of course, is you know we just looked at the tumour marker. We haven't then looked at the subsequent investigations that have come from that tumour marker test. Further radiological investigations, for example, other biochemical investigations, potential inpatient stay, uh, and of course, so therefore, you know, it, it's, it's fairly exponential, I think, with regards to the cost for the health board. And then there's also the uh, further term scansiety that patients may experience if they are told, "Oh, we're doing extra tests yeah. about." It the cancer that you might have. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, very much so. I think tumour markers can guide uh, physicians and uh, d down the wrong route and cause that unnecessary anxiety uh, for the patients and their families. Um, so that, yeah, hopefully um, we're able to, as, as I mentioned, educate to try and stop that. We've also recently set up a, a diagnostic uh, centre uh, within the health board uh, and again kind of given more education about that resource. So physicians are able to refer the patients into that and then hopefully the most appropriate investigation is going to be done uh, trying to ease that anxiety and, and obviously saving money again. And if there was I suppose a take-home message for anyone on their health boards watching this at home today what would it be? Uh, I think the take-home message is um, tumour markers are beneficial in certain cases for diagnosis but they just have to be used in the appropriate way. Uh, if a patient sat in front of you is you're suspicious of cancer I think contacting the local acute oncology service uh, for support is probably the best way to go forward.